Guys, we managed to get a monstrous machine for the review. We've got a real military combat vehicle. It's written off military equipment, but it still is able to impress everyone. And now you'll see it. Let's go! Hi guys, as usual it's me, just a voiceover, and you are watching Review Machines. By the way, do you know that nowadays you can legally buy a written off military equipment like this machine? This equipment is considered as out of date for contemporary conditions, but in civil war such machines are really monstrous. Today we are going to find out what this machine can show us in the hardest novi of road conditions. Firstly, let's speak in a word about the vehicle. This machine was produced in 1974, and it is still used in some countries. Do you know what probably is the most interesting about this machine? It's specially designed to be landed from an aircraft, with parachutes, with crew inside. In this way, it is landed absolutely ready for a battle, that usually comes as a full surprise for rivals. It looks so predatory, it has a great power, it's fast and maneuverable. All these features make this vehicle a serious threat for any opponent. Creators of the machine were trying to make a transport that will be very effective on any kind of off-roading conditions. Moreover, it's even able to float and moves in water quite fast. Before we dive in off-roading, let's go slightly into details. The weight of the vehicle is 8 ton. Length is 6 meters, the width is 2600 millimeters. The armor is made of aluminium, the front plate is 15 millimeters thick, lateral plates are 10 millimeters. In this way, the armor protects only from bullets, it can't resist more serious weapon. The vehicle is equipped with a hydro pneumatic suspension that provides a very smooth moving and adjustable ground clearance. From behind, we see two water jets that move the machine in water. Now you can see how the suspension system works. The main feature here that is able to adjust the ground clearance. It allows to change the height of the machine. When it's minimal, it's good for combat conditions, and maximum clearance is good for off-roading. Besides, this feature allows to tighten or loosen tracks even while moving. Let's look what's inside. The interior is so severe. There are numerous handles, buttons, levers. All this stuff certainly slightly confuses. There is a seat for a driver in the middle of the cabin. Then you see two levers to handle the skid steering vehicle. Also we see here a dashboard. Its design reminds us of a post-apocalyptic theme. There is a hydraulic gears of the suspension system and a special dashboard to handle it. Also we see here the instructions for a driver. Then there are some periscope devices to watch the field in combat conditions. You can see very little through them, but it's enough to choose the proper direction. As to the capacity, there are 4 seats for a crew and 10 seats for paratroopers. Now it's high time to launch the engine. There is a special pneumatic stutter, whose electrical one can't manage it. The engine is huge, its capacity is, wait for it, 16 liters. Just listen its sound. And now, let's come back in time, when it's still enough light and do some fuel tests.
First of all, we were greatly impressed by how this vehicle fast and maneuverable. This vehicle weighs more than 8 tons, but it has quite good maximum speed and acceleration. By the way, the capacity of the engine is huge, I already said it, but the power is not so impressive. It's just 240 HP. According to the official specs, maximum speed is about 60 km per hour, but in fact it's easy to accelerate it up to 100 km per hour. The suspension system works perfectly, no matter where you are moving, on a flat ground or on a rough terrain. The vehicle goes so smoothly. Guys, it's so fascinating to watch the machine sweeping through the snowy field. It's a spectacular show, isn't it? As I already said, it's really a maneuverable machine. It's wide and not very high, with a low gravity center, so it's so hard to roll over it. So it's possible to make turns with high speed, but of course it has some drawbacks as any machine. Probably the most important one – fuel consumption. The designers absolutely didn't care how much fuel the machine would burn. So even according to the official specs, it eats about 60 liters of diesel fuel per 100 km. It's on a flat ground. And more than 70 liters on a rough terrain. No wonder that we needed to fill up the vehicle right during the filming. Well, let's get some fuel and go off-roading. We choose not very long, but interesting off-roading route in the forest. There are huge view ruts under the snow, so it's possible to get stuck there even with our vehicle. So we decided to leave the truck and move separately, not to get stuck the boss machines. If one of them is in the mess, the other will save it. Meantime, our monstrous vehicle is moving forward, slow and sure. The adjustable clearance do a lot of good for off-roading. When it's getting really tough, let's leave the machine and keep on our adventure. Also an important feature – it's an absolutely flat bottom, so there are no any gears that may graze the ground and prevent from moving. At one moment, we saw the huge log crossing our route. And the only way was to run over it. Well, let's do it. As you can see, it was not a problem for our ATV. Metal tracks provide a perfect traction and the vehicle easily overcomes the obstacle. Meantime, the truck, that was considered as a rescue vehicle, decides to follow us, but in 100 meters it gets stuck. Well, it's time to save our rescue transport. When we come to the truck, we saw that there were no chances to escape from the trap without our help. So let's take a thick rope and tow it backward. Our all-terrain vehicle has 60 liters engine, so it was no sweat for it to tow the heavy truck from the soil, and I think it was the best way to test its towing abilities. After all, I have every reason to state it's a really impressive machine. Well, it's no wonder, it's a real armored combat vehicle, that is why it's so impressive for civilians. By the way, don't forget that it's an amphibious vehicle. 
there are two water jets that provide speed about 10 km per hour, and it's quite fast for an amphibious machine. Fast, maneuverable, powerful. It's a dream. If only you don't afraid of fuel consumption. And let's talk a little about the prices. You can buy such written off machine for only about $20,000. What do you think guys? If it is expensive or not for such a machine, please post a comment with your opinion. And now let's call it a day. Thanks for watching guys. Please consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. It will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.